It's been a busy 48 hours for Seacoast Road and emergency crews keeping up with two rounds of snow in the season's first real winter storm. It's been challenging. Everybody forgot how to drive in the snow. Slow and steady's best. Good Samaritans stopping to help a driver whose car slid off Route 1A into deep snow in Rye. Well, she was just off the road and she was trying to dig it out by herself and I couldn't let her do that. So. As much as 18 inches fell in some seacoast towns, this kindergarten teacher spending two snow days home in Greenland. I'm looking forward to actually getting back tomorrow, so <laughs> it'll be fun and a little respite from shoveling and snow blowing, hopefully. So. Like so many people, this Portsmouth family finding a way to embrace it. Oh, we just thought we'd go out and see what was going on in the city and enjoy the day and have a nice family day together. The power of positive thinking fueling this woman's efforts to chip away at a snowbank to make room again for streetside parking. I love snow. Yeah, bring it on. We're getting the skis ready. Yep, awesome snow. Her neighbor, not quite so enthusiastic. As I add a few years, the snow becomes less and less desirable. <laughs> You're getting ready. Florida's waiting. I'm not getting ready. I'm ready. Well, he's in for a long winter if he can't wrap his head around the snow that is inevitably coming our way. And for the city's sake, Thursday night is a big one for the DPW. They're going to be hauling away all these big snow banks building up in the downtown area to make it safer to walk around and to park. There'll be an overnight parking ban in the immediate downtown. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.